Welcome to the illusion of medieval confusion. Join me on a journey back in time where seasons lead to reasons to build and survive medieval dynasty. Let's progress with a progress report. In this magical episode, we will build a house before darkness falls. Collect all we need to survive and avoid becoming deed. As time turns and fire burns, your northern guide will conquer all with brawn and wit. Heed my warning, as a new day is dawning, the land ahead of confusion is full of adventure and illusion. I now pass you over to your guide. Pray thee follow his wisdom and fare thee well. Alright, hello and welcome to Medieval Cowie's Medieval Dynasty. We're going to be looking at this game which is currently in Alpha. What we're going to be doing today is starting a new game. We'll go through some of the menu screens. We're going to collect some wooden stones and create an axe. Fancy that. Then we're going to chop down some trees and create a few spears for hunting with. We're going to head into the village, carry out a little mission and by the end of the day we will also have built my house to sleep and eat in. How does that sound? So what we're going to do, we're going to go straight to new game and we'll watch the introduction video. I used to have a simple life. Whatever needed doing round the farm, I'd do it. <laughs> Being the eldest son, it's tough. But at least we had a living, and our plates were never empty. Then, the war came. I lost everything overnight. The last thing I remember is father pushing me away, yelling for me to run, to live. At first, I didn't know what to do. Then, I remembered. A story my mother once told me. A story about my uncle, Jordan. He made a modest fortune up north, in a peaceful valley far away from the war. For weeks I held on to that thought, until the valley from my mother's stories, I could see it. This is where I can start a new life. Go on, son. Medieval Dynasty. Loving the music already, come on. See what this game's got. Look at that, Luke Skywalker teaching his son how to use a bow and arrow. Do, 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 do. So I love games like this. Uh, when I was young, I used to play games like Stronghold. Welcome, Sir James. Can't put that there, me lord. Down into the darkness. Well, look at this, we're straight into the game and we have a quest already. Starting a new life. We have to go talk to the Castellan. All right, so we have here a sign. To the right, we would be heading to Gustovia and to the left, we'd be heading to Hornica. I'm off to Hornica. Horny, 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 uh, behave. Get your filthy minds out the gutter. We're heading to Gustovia. On the way there, it is recommended whenever traveling in this lovely land collect things because at the other end you'll be able to sell them and gold in this game is very very important all right so i'm just going to collect some branches uh, the last thing we need to get to make an axe which i promised i'd show you is we need some rocks i believe there are some rocks just over heather yes look at this here they are on the ground so we shall collect one two couple more just for fun maybe sell them at the other end there we go and we're going to go into the crafting menu and here we choose axe all right so i'm going to click on that and we are now crafting an axe crafty crafty marvelous that axe is now made we're going to go into the infantry just done by pressing the tab button in there you can see that the stone axe has been made and it has been put into quick slot number one so I'm going to press 1 on my keyboard 
And we have access to the axe. Let's chop down a tree. Chirity, chip, chop, chop. There we go. Tree, chop down. Tri timber! There we go. Now we need to knock it into some logs, so we give it a couple more whacks with the axe. There we go. And we'll collect said logs. There we go. Three logs. Now I also promised that we would be uh, creating today some wooden spears for hunting. You'll notice there underneath it says press R to craft more. So I will press R. I'm then going to press E to select all three. And I'm going to press F to accept. And I will now create all three spears with no further interaction from myself. So that's a nice lazy way of doing things. There we go. We're going to jump back into infantry and you can see there the wooden spear has appeared here. What I am going to do is equip it so I press F and then quick slots gets highlighted and I'm going to apply it to number two. There we go. Our spears are now in quick slot number two. So if I press two on my keyboard, I have myself a spear. Right click aims it, left clicks, left clicks, left click, fires it away. Now, sometimes you might throw it in the brush and be like, oh, where's my stick gone? I can't see it. If you press left alt, it tells you where your spears are. E to pick up. There we go. E to pick up. Now, using left alt does use your stamina. You can see there, bottom left, my stamina is running out. So be mindful of that. Let's now head down into the lovely village. How about that for a view, eh? What a lovely valley. I can just see the a village ahead of me. Here we go. So yes, Gostovia to the left. Hornica where we are not going to the right. Down into Gostovia. I see some farms on the left. Some farms on the right. Might as well collect some more branches on the way. There we are. And I can see some villagers rummaging about in the village. You'll notice top middle we have a tree indicating we're in the summer. We're on the first day of summer. Just below that we've got a yellow explanation mark which is telling us where our starting a new life Castellan is. Let's head towards him now. So we've got to move off a bit to the right and he's 10 meters away. Oh. He's up here. Look at that. There he is sat there. Hello Unigost. Alright, here we are with Unigost. I am not going to bore you with everything we are about to say to each other. But what I will say, he is 55 years old and we have a 50% approval rate. So that does dictate how much he will sell things to me for at what price. Alright, so what I'm having a conversation with him about is my uncle all right i'm telling them that i am rasima however you want to say that name and i am looking for jordan my uncle um but unfortunately i find out that he has died uh, when he was out with his band of men and he was pretty much left to the wolves but unigost here took care of him and buried him so thank you very much for that my friend Okay, once you finish that conversation, you are given a wooden mallet from Unigost, which you used to build houses. It used to belong to my uncle. Um, my uncle, unfortunately, has left me no land, nor any money, but Unigost, being the Castellan here, has authorised me to build on the land. This is just giving you a quick overview of some of the buttons I've already taken you through. Tab gives you access to your infantry skills, journal, map, management and technology. Your construction wheels access via the Q button and the inspector mode is the left alt key. Alright, so thank you Unigos. I shall put away my stick and I shall put away my axe. It is now time to find someone to buy some seeds because I'm going to head out into the wilderness to build my house. But before I do that I might as well pick up some seeds. Adelina there with a the bag symbol next to her. I'm going to go to her and collect some seeds. Well, I have to pay for them, actually. I'm not going to collect them. I'm going to pay for the goods. So here we go. We will start talking to her. Show me your wares. 
I would like to sell you some of my sticks. So I will go F to sell. I'll press E to select them all and F to sell them all. I have gone up to 75 gold coins. I shall do the same for the rocks. There we go. And that will now enable, enable me to buy some carrot seeds. I'll buy some of them. Three, I think. And I shall also purchase some onion seed. Three of them. And in a later episode, I will show you what I will do with them. Thank you very much. I'll go now. But just before I go, I want to show you how to increase your approval rating. All right. So, hey, you got a minute. Recently, I got into hunting. Got any tips? I just got back from working in the fields. Tough job. Now, either one of these could go up or down. So, I'm going to risk. Recently, I got into hunting. There we go. I've got up 2%. All right. That's how you get your approval rating up. It's slow going, but it works. Okay, I'll say goodbye. And off we go out into the wilderness. No, da, those geese and cows are singing away. Okay, let's put a bit of a jog on. Here we go. And we'll collect things along the way to my new area that I'm going to build my house. Now, what I will also say is we're going to need some logs. So I'm going to select my axe and knock down some of these trees. Here we go. Take down this one. And this one. There we go, I'm running out of stamina. Chop this one. Make it into logs. There we go. One log. Two log. Three log. There's me other tree. Here it is. One log. Two log. There we go. Okay, I will be getting rather close to my weight limit. So if we go into infantry, you can see here I am at 31 kilograms. And once I get past 35, my character really starts to slow down. So I'm going to leave it there and head to the point where I want to build my house. Back onto the road. Now I've always wanted a house right next to the stream. So that's where I'm going to build mine. Just up here, other side of this little stream. Nice little bridge. There we go. And I'm going to collect some of these sticks because there's no point in building a house on top of them and losing them. There we go. And we'll take a little step back. And we're going to go to Q to build a house. And we'll get this nice little interactive. Red means we can't build it there. Obvious reasons. It's saying this object can't be placed on water. So we'll move it here. And I'm going to build it right there by pressing left click. And we have a beautiful... Wait a minute, that's not a house. So to build the house frame, what we've got to do now is we'll jump into infantry. There's me wooden hammer. And I'm going to equip that to quick button number three. Press number three and we get this nice little diagram of what we need for each section. So the door section, I will need two logs and six sticks. So here we go. There you go. You see we've done the sticks, but I haven't got any logs. But that's what I like about this is you don't have to have both items in to do it 100%. So we'll just do these and then we'll go and get some logs and some more sticks. Who lives in a house like this? Me. Okay, so let's go and get some more wood and sticks. So we'll knock down this here. We'll grab these sticks while here. We'll find them everywhere. Oops. Oops. There we go. It says it's not cut. There we go. There we are. Grab these. Grab that. Choppity chop this down. There we go. We'll grab the logs. 
I've also been asked by a few people how to get rid of these stumps. Oh, there's some feathers. They'll come in handy later. Uh, to get rid of these stumps, you just bend down close to it and punch it. And then it disappears. Yay! Alright, let's get a few more. There we go. Pinch these. Alright. Let's get this tree and then head over. Timber! One, two, excellent. Right, just down there in the bottom left, next to uh, my hunger and water, um, you can see there's a weight symbol appeared. We'll just close that for the moment because I want to get some water in a bit. It's telling me that I am overweight, and you can see I'm moving. I'm moving a lot slower. All right, so let's um, get the hammer up. There we go. And because I've got logs, we can finish that bit. That bit. There we go. Lovely. While we're around here, we'll just get some water. So you lean down, drink it up. And my water has gone up full hydration. Just what we need. We do this side. Excellent. And I'm out of logs. I'm going to need to get some more logs. I love that trickling sound of the water. These sticks. So there's different ways of getting feathers as well because as you can imagine you're going to need feathers in the future for your bow and arrow. One way of getting them is when they're falling out of the tree. The other way of getting them is by placing bird traps. But we haven't got access to bird traps yet so... More sticks up here, yes there is. Alright. Might as well pinch these as well while we're here. Alright, marvellous. Back to the hammer. There we go. We almost have a house. Is that one? Then we'll go inside. Finish off the apexes. And we might just have enough for the roof. We've got no straw. That needs a log. And I've got no logs either. Right, so. Go and grab one more tree. And then I'll show you where the straw is. Here we go. Chimbar. Right, marvellous. Now we're going to go down to the waterline. And just on the waterline, we will find our reeds, which is used for straw on the roof. And there we go. Look at that. I've got myself a little survival upgrade. And I'll show you that in a tickety boo. Right, so we'll press tab and we go to skills. We've got a little star sign. And there we go. We can upgrade these. Now I am going to upgrade my survival knowledge. Um, plus one skill points from survival activities. Okay, so that'll just increase that. There we go. Current level one skill point for survival activities. Next level you'll get two skill points for survival activities. So we'll gradually keep on getting more. There we go. So doing stuff like this is in the background increasing your levels. Well, the points towards your levels I should say. There we go. Back up to the house. And we'll do this from here. Add some straws. Here we almost have a house. Here we go, 93%. Whey! we go we have ourselves a house and a new quest in the house I get a nice single bed a nice double bed um, a chest to store items and we also get a cauldron for 
cooking items all right so there we go we have built our house ladies and gentlemen as promised there she is and as you can see it's a lovely little spot there we go now in the next episode we're going to be going out into the wilderness hunting we'll also be plotting a little bit of land next to my house for farming so please like and subscribe and join us for our next video coming out very shortly thanks for watching hope you enjoyed it so my medieval traveling friends you survived the first day following the guidance of your guide return next time to see how to farm and hunt the magic of liking and subscribing will liven the life of our guide darkness has fallen on our first day but return and next time learn the ways of the land time has almost forgotten Till the next time, my lord and ladies.